All right, first one, find the height of the sunflower, 15 weeks. A lot of you got confused by, oh, there's a formula for arithmetic, okay? And, and the, the thinking was correct, because this is arithmetic, but if you actually just even draw a little picture, there you go, there's your ground. The sunflower has a height of 90 centimeters when it's planted. So there's 90 centimeters, okay? So that, that is actually what it currently is. This is like the zeroth term. So for 15 days after that, it's currently at 90, and then 15 centimeters, it, or 15 days, it grows at six centimeters per day. Is that right? Uh, yeah. So that's the calculation. Can you see that? It's currently 90, and every single day, so D for days, or T for the number of days, right? Just times by 15. That is the formula then. So this is A. B is write down expression for the height. So the height after T days is equal to, well, the A times by the T. This is just a linear MX plus B. It's a linear model, right? So you've got to think of A times by T. T is the variable. T is the number of, uh, oh, this is weeks, sorry, not days. My bad. So it's 15 weeks at 6 centimeters per week. Still the same calculation though, yeah? So this is now, well, there's a 90 plus, there's six centimeters times by the number of weeks. All right, so again, when you see this, if you didn't quite get it right, you can see how easy that is, right? It's just wrapped up. It's not y equals mx plus c anymore. It's given in function notation with h's and t's. But it's the same, it's the same feel. So this is nothing to do with your arithmetic sequences and series, you know, the u of n equals u 1 plus n minus 1 d. This is just thinking about linear modeling. And then C, find the expression for T in terms of H. So when we have function notation, to rearrange it's sometimes easier just to write down the H like that. And that's okay, right? We, we know that H is the height of the sunflower, so it's okay to put H. And then just rearrange. You subtract 90 from both sides. Then you divide by 6. So your, four, your little working out should be. And the final part, D, given that the maximum height the sunflower grows to is three meters. I had to take a deep breath when I was marking some of your work here. Of course, three meters, but notice that H of T is the height of the sunflower in centimeters. So we can only use centimeter measurements. And as everyone knows, right, three meters is 3,000 centimeters. No, no, it's not, is it? I think half the people in here put 3,000 centimeters. Now, that's one big sunflower. <laughs> that's a 30 meter tall sunflower. It could get that high, but it's, it's not, all right? So we've got to be careful with units here. So you rec the good thing is recognition of changing it from the three meters, right? But this is, if h equals to 300, we need to solve for t. Now, some of you then went back to this and used this. But there's no need because you've already got t here. So we just substitute the 300 in place of the h here. So it's kind of working backwards, right? So the final answer here, if I just maybe choose a slightly different color. I just go down here, um, we've got 300 minus the 90, all divided by the 6, gives me T. And you should find that if we just switch out to the calculator, just to be sure. Um, and be careful when you do this, 300 minus 90. If you just do it in the calculator like this, you're going to get the wrong answer. All right? Because it's the whole thing divided by the 6. So you just got to be a little bit careful with the way you type things into the calculator. Um, better to get that little fraction template there. Now it's going to be nice and clean entry. 35. Um, yes, it's recording. There's a little red button, uh, this, this button up here. I need to press it to stop recording. Yeah.
Um, so there you go, t equals 35. Now that's 35 weeks, but you've not quite finished yet. So this is a bit naughty. You see the last part? Well, two things. One, the range of t. Mathematically, we know the range are the y values, right? So that could be quite confusing. This is just regular English language. The t values go from what to what? I think that should be better phrased as domain. And then we're under no confusion there, right? We need to know what value does t start and finish. So the final answer here is that t has got to be greater than zero weeks, but it has to be less than or equal to 35. The model isn't valid beyond 35 weeks. It tells us the maximum height the sunflower reaches is this fixed upper limit. Yep. At that particular height, no amount of water or, or sunshine is going to help it grow anymore. Probably it's just reached its peak, and then actually after that, it might just start to wither away, right? It's just what plants do. So the model is only valid over a certain domain, a certain set of T values.